When it said self-setting, I thought that it was gonna dry down like this. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on all my other social media platforms. So I know why y'all here, okay? Y'all here because y'all wanna see my review on the Makeup by Mario Soro Skin Concealers. So I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and filmed my face off camera just so that we can purely focus, okay? on these new Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Concealers. If you guys wanna see my base, head over to my TikTok because I did film a video on that. I'm wearing the Makeup by Mario foundation and then I'm also wearing the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. So this is basically what the concealers look like. They look exactly like the foundation, just in like a mini form, which I'm here for. I absolutely love the packaging. It just looks so cute, stunning, sleek. Ah, oh, I love it. So this is the Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. It's a pro performance multi-use concealer that visibly lifts, blurs, and brightens under your eye and complexion for an awakened appearance. It has caffeine in it, which visibly reduces puffiness and dark circles. Cause girl, let me tell you on a Friday, Saturday night, or when I gotta get up and go to church on Sunday morning and I partied all weekend, yeah, this concealer is gonna get me right, okay? The shades are crease proof and long wearing with a self-setting formula that locks in, a, that locks in with a natural skin-like finish. So I'm gonna take the shade 360 and I'm gonna put this pretty much where I normally put my concealer. I normally put it like right here cause it's normally dark right here in my inner corner. So I'm gonna just put it here. And then this is also kind of sculpting, you know, sculpting out my nose a little bit. And then I'm also gonna place it right here just to kind of give me a little bit of a lift on my chin, the center of my nose and on my forehead. On my forehead, I really don't like to do a lot, but I'm gonna put some there anyway. And then I also seen him put some right here just to kind of lift up the face a little bit. So I'm like, why not, you know? And then I'm gonna go in with the shade 260 and just kind of put it right here and then go over it. I feel like it's literally the same consistency of his foundation, just a little bit thicker maybe, just to give you a little bit more coverage. To blend out my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario F4 brush. I'm gonna use the like flatter side of the brush to kind of blend everything in. I typically would use a sponge, but I find with the Makeup by Mario products, they are a little bit more, I feel like you need a brush to get the most coverage that you're looking for, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, ooh, go ahead and blend that out. So far, I actually really like it. So you guys know, I just did a video on the Makeup Forever HD um, Under Eye Skin Concealers, whatever those ones are called. These are a heavier version of those, like a more thicker version. I feel like the Makeup Forever ones are a little bit lighter in coverage. Those are my favorite concealers right now that I have been wearing. Um, so I'm trying to compare, the, compare it to that and see if I like it more or if I like it less. So far my face, it looks really bright. Wow, I'm obsessed. So I'm just blending all of that in. This concealer has a really nice consistency to it. It's almost like you don't even need to let it dry down because it's thick enough on its own without, you, without it needing to be dried down, you know what I mean? It's like thick enough to where it gives you the most coverage but it still just looks like skin. So I'm just kind of going back and forth between both brushes just to kind of blend everything together but i wow i like this concealer so far and i like the price point y'all this concealer was only 29 dollars. i don't know why but because it's because of who it is i expected these concealers to be a little bit more expensive this concealer is for sure a buildable like medium buildable coverage um because I can still kind of see my skin through, which I like that effect because like I said, I told you guys, I don't really like my products. I don't really like my concealer or my makeup to be like super heavy, super cakey, but I actually like it. And I love that this concealer is only $29. I don't know why, I just assumed that this concealer was gonna be more expensive, but it's the exact same price as the Makeup Forever HD concealers. And I like this one better. 
just based on how it's wearing on my skin right now and i love this concealer it just it looks like skin if that makes sense like my skin just looks so hydrated it looks so plumped it just it gives skin you know and i'm absolutely obsessed with it i just wanted to give you guys a little backstory on who makeup by mario is Makeup by Mario is one of the most acclimated, sought after, most followed makeup artists in the world. And he's known for making your natural beauty pop, if that makes sense. Like it says that he's known for creating the most flawless version of an individual's natural beauty. And I think that's why I like his products because that's what it does for me and that's what I'm looking for specifically. So if you're the type of person that's looking for like a super duper full coverage, done up type of a makeup look, this concealer or just his brand in general is probably not going to be for you because his products are made to enhance what's already there his products are made to enhance your natural beauty to kind of bring out your natural features and while still allowing you to look like yourself but like a more fresh version of yourself if that makes any sense i'm going to be doing a wear test over on instagram so make sure you guys head over there so just from leaving my face just like this like if i had to just leave my face like this and walk out the door I would not be happy with it because I feel like I'm just a little too shiny in the areas that should not shine, if that makes any sense. So I'm not really sure how I feel about the claims saying that it's self-setting. I know he said you can set it, but it is self-setting. So when I think self-setting, I think it's going to dry down matte. Like that's what I think when I think of like self-setting. Um, it's not like overly shiny. It, it looks like it's set, but it just looks like shiny. And I feel like if you're someone with oily skin, you're not going to be able to get away with just leaving it just like this because it's claimed to be self-setting, if that makes sense. So I am going to go in and set it with a little bit of my powder, um, just lightly, because I really don't like to use a lot of setting powders or anything like that. So I'm going to set it a little bit with my powders, finish the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. All right, y'all. So I went off camera and finished my makeup. I filmed it on TikTok. So head over to my TikTok and watch that if you want to see how I did my makeup using all Makeup by Mario's products. But baby, let's get into these concealers. Okay. 10 out of 10. I absolutely love the concealers. I think if you do not own these concealers, you need to go purchase them right now, especially because they're only $29. Like that's super affordable in my opinion, especially when you have some concealers that are drugstore right now that's like 15 17 dollars i love the fact that i look like myself you know what i mean like my skin just looks so perfect like i can't even stop looking at myself like my skin just looks so perfect it looks so beautiful i don't feel like i have any makeup on like it feels like my skin is just super hydrated right now my under eyes look amazing they look very hydrated very well slept okay although i did not sleep good last night i really did not get no sleep i tossed and turned all night long i feel like the caffeine really helped wake me up one thing i will say that i'm not quite sure about i'm gonna have to play around with it is the self-setting mechanism of the concealers i feel like my face did not self-set but i don't know i'm not even sure how that's supposed to happen um, but the concealers look good. They did dry down a little bit, but I feel like if you're somebody who has oily skin, the self-setting isn't really going to be for you because you're going to look like you have product on your face. Your skin is going to look super hydrated or oily. And if you have oily skin, I know that's the opposite of what you want. So I did have to go in and set this concealer down um, just because I kind of want the mattifying effect under my eyes. I thought that when it said self-setting, I thought that it was gonna dry down like this. But yeah, that is my review on the Makeup by Mario Soro Skin Concealers. I absolutely loved them. They were amazing. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have watched all the way to the end, make sure you subscribe down below and follow me on all my other social media platforms.